Hey there people, how's it going? And welcome to a new Gold Gun video. Today we're having a look at the Golden KSG. Now, at first I thought this shotgun was quite possibly the worst shotgun to ever be put into a Call of Duty. And that includes the AA-12 from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, obviously, most of you know I've got gold camo on all the Modern Warfare 3 shotguns as well. Uh, but this KSG, it's actually an absolute monster. It's the secret weapon of Black Ops 2, in my opinion. Uh, it's just crazy good once you know how to use it. And it's all down to the fact that it shoots a special type, uh, type of round, or a slug should I say. It shoots a sniper slug, which basically means, if you're not really into your guns or your ammunition and how that works, a bit like me to be honest, uh, it basically means that it's only effective in a very small area when you shoot it. So treat it kind of like a sniper rifle, which seems weird for a shotgun, and uh, I know it's a bit odd, but it's just the way that this thing needs to be used. So. Do not hip shoot from the hip with this gun. It is not built for hip fire at all, and you'll be very inaccurate. You will sometimes get hip fire kills, but as you can see here, where I pick this guy off, you can pick people off from absolutely miles away. Technically, I believe the effective range is roughly 30 to 40 meters, but I always find it weird when I'm talking about measurements and then in COD, it's a computer game. You can't really tell uh, what kind of measurement we're talking about. So. To help you guys out with this range and figure out how far you can actually shoot this weapon, I did a little test uh, on Meltdown. Here you see me getting a nice little triple feed there as well. It's kind of a freaking beast. So anyway, I've got this KSG Diamond as well, for those of you who didn't know. And before we test out the range, just have a look at the hip fire. So here, just randomly firing from the hip at the wall, you can see pretty inaccurate down to the bottom right on that one. There, it's up to the top right. So obviously, the further away you go, the more random it's going to be. So firing from the hip is just not a good idea. Now here, we're going to test out the range. So here I'm testing it out on Meltdown. And as you can see, from this range here, it will actually hit. That is a hit. It might be a two-shot kill if you actually hit someone from that range, unless it's a headshot maybe. And here I'm going to try going a little further back, the opposite side. And as you can see, this time, that actually doesn't make a marker at all. I run forward a little bit, but I can see there's no marker on there at all. So I think, all right, let's go back and then see if we can go a little bit more forward and see if we can actually get a, uh, a hit registered on the wall there. And there you go. From a bit closer, uh, you can actually see that it registered on the wall so this thing just throw everything you used to know about shotguns out the window for Call of Duty treat it completely differently and aim down the sight so my perk setup and play style for this all revolves around making sure you can aim down the sight quickly so I would recommend using quick draw and dexterity the rest you could pretty much change and a bit optional but I think you have to use those with long barrels well why not make the most of it so long barrel obviously increases the range of your shotgun in case you didn't know so this makes it you know as long as you could uh, possibly imagine a shotgun it's almost as more effective than some submachine guns because some sub submachine guns aren't very good at range uh, especially scorpion evo with uh, rapid fire and things like that uh, so also quick draw as well to help you aim down sight quicker so dexterity helps you aim down sight quicker after sprinting and then a quick draw allows you to aim down sight quicker in general so um, you might think they're kind of the same thing but dexterity kind of is for when you're sprinting it will allow you to aim quicker and then quick draw is just general allow you to aim quicker so you always want to be aiming down sight I would actually also recommend stock. I haven't actually put it on here. Uh, but of course, stock allows you to move quicker while aiming down the sight. And I found it really useful to be aiming down sight and just looking around corners while using this weapon. Uh, so obviously, I've got a lot of experience using this. I think you guys will have a really fun time using this weapon. Unfortunately, I didn't for the first like six, 700 kills. But then obviously, once I got to know how to use it, and now that you guys know how to use it, I think you're going to have a fun time. I'm hoping it's not too overpowered. When I first figured out its range and I was getting like triple kills and all kinds of ridiculous shots from long range I thought wow this is really overpowered like the models from Modern Warfare 2 and maybe it'll be patched but after using it for quite a while it does have some downfalls I mean there is a point where it actually won't get a kill at all and also at close range it can be a, a bad weapon if you haven't got time to aim down sight and line them up accurately you know you're off quite often not going to get the kill and you'll get outgunned by an MP7 or a submachine gun something like that and a lot of people are running around with the submachine guns and so on because they're they are very powerful in this game. So in general, I think the KSG is probably my favorite gun so far. So much fun getting long range shots with a shotgun. It's just so strange. And uh, when it works, it works really well. But like I said, you have to be accurate. I think the iron sights are pretty good. You could use an MMS to help your accuracy, but I quite like the iron sights. And another good thing about this gun 
is the fact that it has quite a lot of slugs. I think it has 10 before you have to reload, uh, which makes it really good. I mean, considering it's a one-shot kill for the most part, uh, that means you can kill up to 10 enemies before you even have to reload. So I wouldn't go for fast mags if I was you. Now, this is actually a slow shooting uh, shotgun, but to be honest, the only other shotgun that isn't uh, semi-automatic or automatic is the Remington, and that only shoots a tiny bit faster. So, in my opinion, this shoots fast enough. If it shot any faster, you probably wouldn't even be able to aim them up in time, so it doesn't really matter for me. But this gun is an absolute beast, probably the secret weapon, in my opinion, of Black Ops 2. A real sniper-style shotgun, something I didn't think I thought I would ever see. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. I do have diamond camo for it as well, so... If you want to uh, see some diamond camo shotgun stuff, just make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'm actually going to do a road to diamond camo where I've recorded some really good games uh, getting diamond. And then I'm going to try and record some uh, commentaries with diamond camo. Because this thing is a beast. If you use it right, it really can be a beast. Good for defending objectives uh, and flushing people out of rooms maybe with the MMS site. An awesome all-round gun. Uh, so, of course, if you're watching this on Machinima Respawn, these videos are uploaded a week earlier over on my channel. So, if you enjoy these, go subscribe over there. If you're watching on my channel, thanks for watching on my channel and being subscribed. You're an absolute freaking beast. And I uh, really appreciate all the support. So, if you wanted to give this a like and maybe a favorite, if this is your favorite sub, uh, if this is your favorite shotgun even, uh, definitely my favorite shotgun at the moment. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this week. Next week, I think we're going to move on to the LMGs and then maybe back to the shotguns again. You can always leave a comment saying what you'd like to see gold because if there's something that people overwhelmingly want to see gold i will try and get it for you so that's it for this week and i'll see you guys soon